today we are making a video on the window maker live which is based on debian 12.8 bookworm and the desktop environment you get is the window maker and the country of origin it's from the spain so this is how the desktop looks so here is like a window maker live news and if you want to see what's new you just need to click on what's new and here is the all the information so this is the latest iso file and there is no official website or anything like that there is like a source forge project there so let me show you that so let me open the uh, browser so let me open the browser and here you can see all the information like uh, some information like a source forge uh, project so you can just go to the source forge just uh, search like that here is the link in order to download you can download from the source forge itself let me show you that also so just click on the link like this and it will take you to the source forge website and uh, you should be seeing all the older versions right here but for the latest version let me show you the latest version so here is the uh, window maker live bookworm 12.8 16 hours ago so this is the latest iso file which is based on debian 12.8 which i already mentioned so you just need to click on the uh, project and uh, you should be seeing the iso files just uh, click on uh, size twice and you should be getting the 64 bit and 32 bit so most of the downloads are of the 64 bit it's better to go with the 64 bit but if you have like a 32 bit you can go with the 32 bit here so just click on the iso file it's 3 gb of uh, size and you should be getting all the information so it's going to take like a five seconds and it's going to start the download and uh, you should be getting the iso file so i'm downloading in this one so that's the reason it automatically closed so here is all the information like a kernel and everything let me open the browser again so here are all the tabs so here is the downloads if you want to cancel you can cancel it and for the linux kernel let me show you the linux kernel so it uh, automatically closed again so this is how the uh, desktop looks so i'm going to leave it like that let's go to other things like a terminal and everything so i installed the neofetch and all the other things like a inx and everything so let me open the applications so this is how the applications looks you just need to hover over it and you should be seeing uh, there are a bunch of applications available for this distribution so it comes with like a four to five browsers a lot of applications are available so it's filled with a lot of applications so now we need is the terminal let me open the terminal and let me make it bigger and let me type in the neofetch and hit enter and here you should be seeing os as like a debian 12 bookworm and i'm running it on the virtual box the kernel version is 6.11.5 which is the stable version and i think this is the end of uh, life it already end of life so there is already mainline version of uh, 6.13 and for the lts version 6.12 is also available so if you don't know about the 6.12 lts version information there is already a uh, youtube shorts uh, available in my channel if you want to go through those things you can go through all those things and uptime it's almost eight minutes packages 2630 in the boot menu you get the lot of uh, languages to select so i choose the english united states there are a lot of uh, languages available and you can directly install from there or else you can install uh, from the installer application and about the shell uh, shell bash version 5.2.15 my present monitor resolution is 1920 into 1080 about the desktop environment i already mentioned it's a window maker and here is all the information like a themes my cpu my cpu is i5 1240p and about the ram it consumes just like a 560 570 mb so it's kind of like a lightweight uh, distro you can call it like a lightweight distro so i'm running it as like a live boot so that's the reason it will be consuming like a 500 mb or 600 mb but when you install it it should be consuming way lesser so you should be understanding these common things and also the cpu resources will be a bit lesser also so it's a lightweight distribution and it's based on debian so if you want to try it you can try it and if you are thinking of installation on your main pc or work pc it's better to do all the research and if you satisfied then go with the installation now let me type in inxi sv to grab complete distro information inxi dash sv8 and also the booting process didn't take uh, like uh, two minutes or uh, like that it just took like a one minute nearly one minute 
and about the system host it says like a debian because it's uh, based on debian and uh, we are running on the live boot so that's the reason you should be seeing the name here or else you should be getting your name whatever the uh, name you provided in the installation you should be getting those and about the kernel it's a 6.11 kernel and uh, compiler gcc not available desktop environment is 0.96.0 light dm version 1.26.0 and distro it's uh, debian 12.8 and uh, here is like a virtual box and all the battery which is clearly unnecessary for the video so i'm just going to skip that part i'm using 8 gb of ram for the virtual box but the available ram will be like a 7.7 .7 and uh, it's consuming like a 884 mb so this is a bit more here and also i installed all those things inx i knew of it so it will be consuming a bit more or else it will be usually consuming uh, nearly under 500 MB or maybe 600 MB lesser than like that. And about the vulnerabilities and flags which is clearly unnecessary for the video. So the main parts are like a graphics, display X11, XORG version is 1.21.1.7 .1 and uh, VMWGFX version is 2.20. Here is my available resolutions or the present resolution is right here. And what else we have about the audio you get the jack version 1.9.21 pipewire version is 1.2.5 and uh, we got all the audio information so network bluetooth repos these are all the things which is uh, clearly unnecessary for the video and about the process 177 uptime is almost 10 minutes wake ups 254 init system d version is 254 and what else we have the system compiler gcc version you get the 12.2.0 you don't get the latest 14 uh, but you get the 12 and shell bash version is 5.2.15 and inx version is 3.3.26 let me type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue so here you should be seeing debian new linux so let me close the terminal and about the applications let me show you the pre-installed applications in the administration you get a bunch of things in the computer doc apps and what else we have docs and info about uh, wm live which is window maker live we already saw the version information about the editors there are a lot of text editors and about the emulators you get the previous i think it's like a wet 86 box and some other applications file manager back in time i'm sitting far away from the monitor so i can't properly see because and also the font size is a bit uh, smaller and here are some other things like a file transfers about the graphics you get a bunch of applications like a gimp lxqt image viewer inkscape so it's a bit of a content creating applications are also available and for the messaging you get the clause mail you don't get any thunderbird or anything like that but you get the telegram desktop and about the network you get the putty and ramina and some other things about the office you get some abby word and uh, auto key calculator for the privacy you get the new privacy assistant and key pass xc the there is also like a tower browser and for the publish publishing there are some applications and for the sound you get the audacity audacious and uh, there are a lot of applications so i'm not going to read everything because it's going to make a video very lengthy so it's filled with a lot of applications uh, if some people call it like a useful applications for some of the viewers it, it's like a bloatware so it's completely depends on the people and about the session menu here are the session menu you can reload the configuration if anything happens you can just reload it and if you want to save the session you can save it for the workspace and the windows list here is the file manager so you just need to use it like a few minutes or the few hours and you should be good with this uh, distribution so you can do a lot of things in this distribution you can open the applications you can use it it consumes a lesser resources so that's a good thing and uh, here are like some other things like a launch if you want to install here is the installation and for the browser here is like a browser which i already showed you there is like a Snaptic package manager also and uh, if you want to open anything you can open it let me uncheck all those things let me just open it so here is the linux kernel version so the stable version is like a 6.11.1 which is end of life the version you get is 6.11.5 which i already showed you 
and about the main line right now the main line version is 6.13 which is rc rc means a release candidate and about this table 6.12.4 and also it's called like a long term if you don't know what it is you just need to click on the releases here is the lts version but you get the same two years of support so everything is ending on to december 2026 whether it's 6.12 6.6 whatever it is it's ending on 2026 december most of it but the 5.4 is uh, ending soon which is on december 2025 which is pretty much on year so these are all the things and uh, other than that what we have here let me launch i don't know what it is window maker preference so some customization things version 0 0.96.0 which is the window uh, manager version of a window maker and i don't know what it is we can't even uh, launch it and here is like a date and time and there are like a bunch of uh, browsers here is our Snaptic package manager if you want to launch you can launch it so it's filled with a lot of applications and also it consumes a lesser resource so that's a good work so i don't have any issues while using this distribution i already tried like a three four times and the country of origin which i already mentioned it's from the spain and the desktop environment is the window maker version is 0 0.96 which i already showed everything so it's uh, a lightweight linux distribution so if you want to try it you can try it always try it in the virtual machines first like virtual machines or live boot first and if you're satisfied with every privacy and everything then go with the installations or else there are a lot of uh, linux distributions lightweight linux distributions you can try for example like a lubuntu and there are a bunch of uh, other desktop environment you can install if you want to go with the distribution go with the arch linux and install whatever desktop environment you want or else you can go with whatever uh, other distros you want it's clearly up to you if you want to go with the ubuntu so you can go with the ubuntu ubuntu flavors if you want to go with the mx linux you can go with the mx linux if you want to go with the debian you can go with the debian it's clearly up to you those are all the well-known distributions so here is our Snaptic package manager so the versions installed versions will be on the left side the informations and everything will be right in front of you about the version you get the 0.91.3 i think this is the latest version i guess so and also i'll be posting two videos daily so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe and also turn on the notifications you should be getting all the information and always keep an eye on the uh, my community posts and the youtube shots because i'll be posting daily without missing and also videos will be all uh, posted daily so you, you should be getting every linux news and about the customization if you want to customize you can customize this it's clearly up to you so about the settings here are the settings here is the setting manager display settings here is the appearance let me show you some themes so you just get the basic themes you don't get any uh, fancy things or anything the same uh, color style will be available like a kind of like a gray brown i don't know what color it is but uh, it's kind of like a gray color not exactly gray color it's kind of there are a lot of colors i don't know uh, to be honest so i'm just going to show you the colors and about the icons there are some basic icons other than that it's clear clearly up to you and uh, these are all the things about this distribution i never made a video on this distribution so it's the first time for me also so it's clearly a good distribution in my point of view so i didn't see any issues till now and also it's consuming a way lesser resource everything is opening instantly so here is the pacman version 1.2.1 you can even use the applications from here just double click on it and you should be getting all the applications and uh, let me show you the gimp application let me open few applications and also let's see how the resources will be uh, consuming let's open a few applications and you get the inkscape 1.2 i think the latest version should be like a 1.4 something like that so already posted every information in the community post but i don't really remember because uh, i'll be posting videos and shorts and also the community post so it's pretty much very hard to remember all those things and uh, let me open a few more applications and see the resources like a cpu and ram on the office we have a bunch of applications let me open the ab word because this test is uh, like a stress test because a normal user will be opening like a three or four applications at a time so that's the reason let's see how the resources will be going 
so if it's uh, if it consumes like under 1 gb it's still good because uh, most of the lightweight consume like a one and a half gb but if it 2 plus gb then it's uh, not uh, lightweight because gnome will be also consuming that much of uh, resources gnome and the kd will consume a bit more resources when compared to the xfc open box jwm so we, we open few applications here let me show you the uh, let me open the terminal first let's try to type in neofetch so in the background there are few applications so its uh, uptime is almost 21 minutes and it's consuming like a 831 mb so it's still good in my point of view so it's a live boot and also it's running on the ram so in my point of view it's okay and uh, if you want to try it you can try it so i didn't see any issues or anything it's also simple uh, people who love the windows 95 windows xp windows 98 uh, nowadays kid doesn't know those things so but uh, for us it's a uh, pretty much good distri uh, do good linux not the linux it's a good operating system so it's kind of like a windows 98 and windows 95 so if you want to try it you can try it so the gimp version let me show you the version of the gimp so you get the latest gimp version 2.10.34 so it kind of looks like a, a without graphics so it's basically like a old uh, operating system so that's what i'm trying to explain here and about the ab world you get the 3.0.5 so most of the uh, applications are latest version so you don't get any older version because the it's based on the latest 12.8 version and if you don't know uh, if you didn't watch the debian 12.8 video you can watch it in my channel and also i posted the debian 13 videos of every desktop environment if you want to watch it you can watch it and uh, other than that i don't think there is anything left right here so i'm just going to show you the logout screen and i'm going to end the video and again i already said if you want to subscribe you can subscribe and uh, if you are thinking of subscribing then turn on the notification because as soon as the video is posted you should be getting the notification so there are a bunch of applications here and uh, this is how the logout screen looks and other than that thanks for watching peace out